Welcome back guys to another episode of the Frankenvet Experiment. I am your host Frankenvet and I'm wondering if you guys have been looking for a more budget option for a reliable red dot sight, kind of something like one of the aim points, aim point T2s, but that you're not going to break the bank for because let's be honest guys, not all of us have that kind of money to be spending five, six hundred dollars on an optic. Well, I just so happened to have tried out and tested out this amazing little optic called the Holosun 503 see you and we're going to take a look at it today and just all its features and what what really goes into it and see if it really is as good as everybody says it is or if it's just a gimmick stay tuned Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode. Um, again, we are looking at the Hollow Sun 503 CU today. And first and foremost, let's just go over a few of the specs on this thing. It does have a 2 MOA red dot with a 65 MOA ring. I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see uh, right there, but it does have that 65 MOA ring. Um, as well, this thing has a estimated 50,000 er, battery hours as long as you're only on the red dot itself. Uh, 20,000 if you have the, the ring on and that's on a medium setting. Uh, this thing has 12 settings. The first 10 are going to be your daylight settings uh, and then afterwards you're going to go down to, you're going to have your night vision compatible. So it is night vision compatible. Um, as well, this does have a solar cell on it, so just er, in conjunction with that 50,000 hour battery life, you also, whenever you're outside or in ambient light, anything for it to power itself, it will power itself off that automatically, so you're not going to be wasting your battery on it. So it's about five, five years on just the dot with a medium setting, and then you just add on anytime you're outside. It doesn't count towards that, so it's pretty cool. As well, this does have an auto on and off function, so if I let this thing sit for 10 minutes, uh, don't touch it, don't touch anything around it. It will shut itself off automatically, uh, so that doesn't count as well as it has a memory function. So when it does do that, whatever, if you have it set on whatever setting you want, uh, you're going to have that automatic. It's gonna come back to it. So let's say you're set on setting seven, uh, it turns off, turns back on. When you touch it, it's gonna go back to automatically to that setting seven and to some, something else. Um, it also does have an auto mode, which is pretty cool. Uh, it uses the solar cell. Uh, to decide how bright it is. So if you have it set on auto uh, and you're inside and you're going through a dark house or whatever, uh, it's going to be set super low and you'll be able to see you go outside in the bright sunlight, it's going to go up all the way to the top uh, and so it, it'll decide for you. The one drawback I will say to that though is you don't really have an option uh, of what kind of reticle you want. Uh, you can't use either the dot or the dot with the 65 MOA ring uh, you only get the dot with the 65 MOA ring, kind of like an EOTech, so that kind of does suck. It does come with two different risers, and I'll have to show you the other one here in a minute when I open the box up. So this is the AR riser, uh, it does a one third co witness on your weapon system. If you're not sure what that is, go look it up, not that hard to find. But it does have a lower mount as well, so if you're running this on an AK, shotgun, that kind of thing, pistol, eh, it's got to be a really big pistol, but you can do that. It does come with an extra battery tray. And as well for the CU, so the C is the s solar cell, and that's what the 503C stands for is the solar cell. Uh, the U on the end, just like all the rest of the hollow suns, is for these guarded turrets. So it, if you just got the 503C, you wouldn't get these guarded turrets on there. And so, you know, if it gets hung up, snagged on your gear or whatever, this allows it to just slide over top, doesn't try and take off the turrets themselves which is cool because that is a weakness point. It, they say it's waterproof, I haven't tested that. What I have tested is I've shot this thing in the rain, the snow, I've shot it in negative freezing weather. I've shot it all the way up to 98 degrees outside, I think was the hottest I've shot it. Uh, in direct sunlight for hours and hours and hours on a black gun, and it's black. And I didn't have any issues with variants or anything else, no waterproofing, no leakage, no fogging, anything like that. And they do say it's parallax free and I can say 
from my experience so far, I haven't seen a lot of parallax anywhere. So that's been pretty nice. And when you're having a price point coming around $250, $200 for their non-solar cell or their non-guarded ones, that's really not bad. I have close to 10,000 rounds to this thing on multiple different firearms. 5.56, uh, every weight and everything from a 10 inch barrel all the way up to an 18 inch barrel. Use it, abused it. If you guys can actually see some of the finish on top has been wearing out because I'm not easy on this thing. I literally just chuck it, throw it, swing it, bash it. Uh, I'm not hitting it with a hammer or anything like that, but I'm in, in normal everyday use or in normal tactical use. Dropping to the ground, all that stuff. And it's held zero every single time. So it's been really, really nice for that. As well, one of the cool things I like is the battery tray right here. It does use one of the watch batteries right there, but the battery tray is on the side and not like on the bottom, like most of them are. So you don't have to take it off every time and have to re-zero it every time you want to change the battery. Granted, I want to change the battery probably, I don't know, year to two years or so, uh, just to make sure. Otherwise, you don't even need to do that. But they do come with an extra one as well. So it does have an O-ring in there to keep the waterproofing. They does come with an extra tray just in case you damage that O-ring so that way you're not having to go try and track it down or find it. So that's freaking sweet, guys. I'm loving this. Honestly, you know, especially for me, I have a stigmatism in my eye. And so when you're looking at stuff like the EOTEX, Right? A lot of guys swear by them, they have bad battery life, and a lot of people can look past that. But the problem is if you have astigmatism, those holographic sights don't work very well. They blur out and they wash out and that makes it really hard to use them. I found with this, I mean even with being a quote unquote cheaper uh, red dot, it looks crisp clean. It's actually one of the crispest and cleanest red dots that I've ever seen for my eyes. So that's amazing, <laughs> especially when you know I'm used to spending $500 on it. On a red dot optic another great thing uh, this is a one moa uh, clicks on the windage and elevation adjustments so um, i don't necessarily like that i wish it would be a little bit more accurate but for 250 bucks i can't complain but this the really cool thing about this is is you can turn your windage or your elevation with not only brass a screwdriver you know a, a, a dime probably but as well they have on top of the caps they have a little tiny screwdriver built onto that i don't know if you can see that or not uh, but literally all you gotta do is you stick it straight on there it locks in and then it says up and right on both of them because they're the same cap uh, again i don't know if you can see that or not let's see if we can get it to where it makes sure you can see it but it says up and right and it tells you how to click and literally it's really audible just beautiful listen I mean and you can feel it every time so small adjustments awesome it's not the, the best I really wish they would go with like maybe a half MOA or a quarter MOA um, but you know I can't complain for the price one of the things I've been seeing a lot of guys complaining about is they're saying that they're getting broken um, optics and they're really not I don't know if you can see that or not but it looks like there's a little chip at the bottom as well as the lens is angled they do that because this uses an LED so the nicer ones will put an extra lens on the front so you can't see that but it's not broken just so you know that it actually isn't broken that's just how they they're manufactured if you don't like that don't buy it go out and spend the $500 go spend literally double the price I'd go get an aimpoint t2 or you know if you want to go get a uh, RMO, Trigicon RMO, go do that. They're great, they're they're proven. But if you're looking for something on a little bit, I don't wanna say cheaper, I wanna hold away from saying cheaper. It's not cheaper, L less expensive, inexpensive, or budget. I'd, I'd even go as far as budget. This is better than any budget red dot I've seen. You know, like the Bushnells or the Sure Glows or whatever, all those super cheap ones. All of a sudden really has gotten you bang for the buck, uh, if you don't mind my pun. So. Yeah, I'm loving this, and in fact, I'm gonna continue to run this on my AR firearm uh, until I don't want to anymore. And at this point, I'm actually thinking about picking up, I think it's the 503G, or the GU, it has the ACSS reticle on it, and I'm putting that on one of my longer ARs, just because I can. But just from my experience with this one so far, I'm really loving it. All right, guys, uh, thank you for watching the video. If you guys like today's video, go ahead and hit that like and that share button as well. Comment below, maybe you guys have used this before, tell us what you think about it. Also, if you're using a different kind of red dot, tell us what you guys like to use instead. If there's any videos or any things that you guys might wanna, or might wanna share with us or things you might wanna see, go ahead and put those in the comments below as well. Um, as always, I'm your host, Frankenvet. Stay smart, stay safe, stay alive.